Evo and Orbit. Uh, Orbit, they're going to be on first ban, first pick this time. Uh, TSM Evo, they're going to be on the purple side here. So they will have the option for the last pick as well. Uh, you know, Kennen, first ban out from Orbit. We may very well see the same bans from them this game. Yeah, so we'll see, uh, you know, what they kind of end up taking. Banning out Vladimir, actually. So, ah. I, you know, I was kind of surprised we didn't see a Vladimir last game. Um, you know, he's just such a strong top laner. But, uh, you know, they both had ideas of what how they wanted to run that lane. I think Orb, after this game, they were like, okay, uh, you know, Wings wanted to play Zin Zao in that top lane. I think now, after that last loss, they probably won't play Zin again. They'll probably go back to something a little bit more standard like Vladimir. All right, you know, we'll ban him out. Yeah. Um, so that's fine. Urgot and Alistar being banned, you know, just s standard. Yep, Shen and uh, Blitzcrank gonna, well, seemingly now looking to escape the banning phase. Uh, Trundle is too, but I don't think we're going to be seeing a whole lot of Trundle play today. Uh, Nautilus and Shen, so uh, yeah, Blitz is open. Uh, Trundle's open. <laughs> yeah, Trundle is open if they want to take it. And him, Malphite's Malphite, open. Malphite's the big open. So, yeah, he is. Yeah, that's that's definitely the you know strong first pick. So we'll we'll see what they kind of end up going with. If they go with that Nunu again, uh, you know that could be kind of interesting to see the you know Nunu pick. And then um, I mean Soraka's also open. They could go with that. Um, yeah, there's a couple of options. I you know one of the ones. I don't know they, they kind of have to consider whether or not they want to take their mid early. Uh, Ezreal and Nunu, that's you know just a strong overall lane, so that's probably the most standard. Yep, and you know Nunu support, you know it has uh, it's been really common as of late. It's always been a thing. It's always yeah. been a very you know strong combo bot lane, but uh, it's uh, it's coming back in a big way recently. Yeah, and that um, you know he's played Nunu to such a significant extent over such a long period of time. Um, at this point, you know or. They can go with a uh, aggressive support if they want to. So they could go with the Soraka if they want to just sustain that lane. But they could also kind of make the decision to go with something like a Blitzcrank, uh, like you were saying, and use that for later team fights. Use that for initiation and the disables that you have. And it still would be very strong in that lane. Ooh. Lulu, that would be kind of interesting. It's been a while nice. since I've seen a Lulu. Yeah, but the thing is, though, uh, where uh, where is Lulu going to go? Seen, yeah, that's true. Seen, Lulu could actually play any I, lane you know i don't know whether or not uh nubby pooh bear plays lulu i don't think that yuzuki will based on his style of play but lulu does work with nubby pooh bear's style like it's it's a similar champion um to you know some of the champions he plays uh we'll have to see it's it's almost certainly going to be a support lulu oh you're i know you're happy with yeah, that yeah i am happy you're, you, i just we, we're we talking the this morning. Esquire skin though we're talking this morning a lot is like no one plays gragas really anymore gragas is awesome and Gragas's, i got him Gragas can win games, and it's it's so it's surprising to me that we don't see more Gragas because he can farm you know easily against anyone. Basically, you control the mid lane, and then you can instantly win team fights. The big issue with Gragas is if you're missing your barrels, then you know you just missed out on a lot of damage. Clearly, so there's that kind of a skill cap issue. Mm -hmm. um, teams that kind of split up if you if they can uh, you know split up and have very survival teams Whoa. like Ezreal and like Hold Ari. Hold on a second here. I, are we going to be seeing a jungle Nunu here from Evo? I yeah, think. that's that's what it seems like. Um, yeah. you know, that's that's the most likely situation. They could, you know, send Janna top. I just that's almost certainly not going to that's happen. That's silly. <laughs> yeah, but uh, or going with a standard tanky team. They do like running those extremely tanky teams. And they Rise, have Darius again. Yeah, Rise is a very common pick for Nubby Pooh Bear. They get the Darius again, so uh, that's extremely strong. The AOE for you know DSM Evo could work out well against the team because they're going to tend to group up. Uh, so, you know, Gragas can win the fights. The issue is going to be that they have enough damage to take down these tanks. That's one issue. Gragas mid-game, his damage is phenomenal. It's just off the charts compared with other, uh, you know, AP champs, if you can land your barrels. But then late game, oh. his damage, you know, it's it just can be kind of insignificant um, as it progresses. And that's definitely going to be an issue. Last, uh, you know, last second switch, Lee Sin actually going to be uh, taking that last spot. Is that I think I like the pick because it's still, even though all their champs are picked, it still provides them flexibility for who they want to send top lane because that's, you know, that's still the uh, only thing to be decided here yeah. for Evo. So this way they can still flip flop instead of taking someone like Darius and just you know really you know sticking at home. It's like yes, this is our top laner. Counter pick him now. But uh, now they have the option. They can go Malphite or they can go Lee Sin top. And it looks like a Nidalee maybe going top lane here. Yeah, we had talked about earlier how unstoppable a lot of times he doesn't, you know, Wings of Death doesn't doesn't feel that he gets the ganks that he needs sometimes. Uh, a lot of times unstoppable, you know, shies towards that bottom lane. But Nunu as a ganker, he's not the strongest ganker in the world. So as a result, Wings of Death, he can't go someone that's, you know, really aggressive kill lane. Nidalee is just a solid, you know, safe pick. You just, yep. Nidalee lanes against anyone and Great uh, you sit him up in the lane and he's just going to push all day and that's all he's going to do. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how that works. If it 
is against a Malphite, um, then, you know, Nidalee does work very well against Malphite with the Harass. Uh, so we'll see. I, you know, it works well against Lee Sin as well. But I, it can be more difficult against Lee Sin because the shield spam um, can make it difficult for Nidalee to just wear him down. Uh, may very well see another uh, last second switch before the lane goes in as well. I think it'd be kind of interesting to see if this was like an AP Nidalee, just because I haven't seen it in so long. And having Gragas and Ezreal, they already have a decent poke team. And so if they had Nidalee on top of that for poke, um, you know, they do have uh, a magic lot. It's some are. magic pen, yeah. I think so, this could be a hybrid build too. Yeah, that's very, uh, very true. You know, the damage early on, you really need to go AD Nidalee in order to play her because um, AD Nidalee is the best uh, for lane control. Your idea is just, you know, to use your ranged advantage and oh, abuse Oh, there is that minions. last second swap once again coming in from uh, this time. Mean, Orbit's going to be going in uh, doing it this time here. So Lee Sin going to be in the jungle, Malphite top lane to go up against the uh, hybrid Nidalee, it seems. Yeah, so we'll see. You know, that magic pen does make things kind of interesting. I'm not sure what of Nidalee's, uh, uh, Nidalee, like, um, sorry, Cougar Stance uh, procs magic. Like, I, I know her Q is physical, I believe. Her, you know, W and E, her W might be magic. Her E might be magic. But it's it's not really significant enough that you would go magic uh, damage for that. Uh, it would really primarily be for the spears. So if you're looking for that spear chucking. We'll see how that is going to kind of work out. That'd be really interesting. I mean, they do have the potential for a strong poke team, uh, and there's no sustain on Orb. So, you know, it's it's going to be tough. If Orb can get a close engage, then they just have such a tanky upfront team, it might be difficult for TSM to burst any of them down. But having Janna, Nunu, and Gragas makes it very easy to control that back line. They can just, you know, have the AoE and just stop uh, initiation left and right and split up Orb. But then you, know, you can also have uh, you can have Malphite going right you know right on into the middle of these fights with the Lulu ult for the extra protection. Mm -hmm. Rise, I mean, he doesn't have the the longest range in the world, but in a pinch he can also be ulted. Really, uh, any everyone right here on orbit is a really good target for the Lulu ult for the extra protection. And I think hopefully the Malphite ult will be uh, more than enough to go ahead and provide the fight control for uh, Orbit to go ahead and single out uh, single, you know, a single uh, vital member of TSM EVO. Yeah, and the best part about the Lulu ult is you don't have to use it on someone like Malphite. You can use it on you know whoever you want, yeah. like you said. So you can, you can they, be greedy and use it on yourself if you want to. I hope that's not how he's going to be using it. <laughs> I, but, hope, you know, I hope not either. I really I hope mean, not either. There are situations for it, but yeah. uh, you know, Graves, Graves is a really short-range champion, so short-range champion versus Gragas, that's not a great recipe for success, but having mm. the Lulu, um, you know, that helps keep Graves alive a little bit, so that'll be a nice thing to see. Graves do does have the quick dash, so he can very quickly get on the you know right side of the Gragas barrel and get knocked away. Um, you know, we've seen that a number of times, but uh, yeah, so they, I mean, Malphite is generally going to be tanky enough that he's not going to have to worry about going down too quickly. Lee Sin with the shield. They, you know, have this, uh, you know, combo shield team with Lulu and Lee Sin to keep people alive and now just try and get their damage really close and personal. So we'll see how that's going to kind of work out. Gragas versus Rise mid. Uh, Rise actually, you know, does very well against Gragas. And Gragas can farm against anyone, really. Gragas can sit back, chuck barrels, you know, just no big deal. But... Rise, because, you know, if Gragas tries to farm in that melee, Rise has enough damage and follow-up to just, you know, kind of abuse him uh, up close and personal. Yeah, I mean, Gragas, I mean, granted, yeah, he does have a decent amount of regen on him naturally, but he is still an AP mid. He, can, uh, he can't really take too many hits, though. He is still uh, relatively squishy if you manage to force him uh, out of these fights, if you manage to single-target him down enough. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to go ahead and farm, uh, farm safely. But uh, then you know, um, I'm also thinking about the rest of the team too, because Leeson, this is um, I don't know, I don't really think this is an optimal situation for Leeson. But then again, you know, there was the last uh, the last pick, just so they have the uh, flexibility up top lane. But well, I don't, I don't know, Leeson. Lee Sin, a lot of people consider Leeson to be, you know, arguably the strongest jungler in the game. And, yeah. Uh, he's just a strong overall jungler. He excels in everything. Um, his team fight control, you know, I, I think can be a really deceptive a lot of times. Lee Sin, having the uh, the shields, you know, you can make uh, a number of your members tanky and you can deal with that. But then also, you know, ju just the fact that he has that um, attack speed slow and then having the single target burst to pick people off, uh, you know, he can be really strong, particularly in the mid game fights. That's where Lee Sin kind of uh, excels. So, yeah. um, you know, we'll see. It, it is a nice uh, matchup considering that they are running this team as a whole. Lee Sin and Rise pair very well together. Uh, you know, Lee, Lee Sin can just constantly pass over those blues, and then when Rise gets the snare, Lee Sin can follow it up with a quick kill. Unstoppable, going straight on out in front. 
to make sure that no one can get into those uh, side river bushes through uh, through the front at the very least. You know, it's a pretty common path, and that's why you usually see a lot of champs just actually straight out going in. Ward going down by the Wraiths for, uh, for Orbit. And I think uh, right now... TSM EVO is looking to do the same. You got Ezreal and Graves kind of facing off in there. You go, yeah, so mutual warding going down uh, at the race for both teams. And yeah, and both teams are very comfortable with playing defensive uh, a defensive game early on. Yeah. Sitting back, letting their junglers take their jungle. So they set up mid. Uh, it gives them vision of their opponents. Yazuki coming up in the top lane. He will have to worry about Nidalee's harass early on. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a concern. You know, Nidalee can just constantly wear down the shield. As the game progresses, he should be tanky enough where he doesn't have to be that concerned about it. He can just sustain. He did start off with cloth and five health pots. So yeah. he is definitely concerned about that early Nidalee. Harass. So that, that'll help him stick around lane a little bit. Yeah, that's really you know the, your main objective uh, against a lot of like a shield champs. Like you know, you're looking at a Malphite, you're looking at a Scion. Like your your main objective is to just bust the shield because if you bust the shield, you force them to play defensive. You force them to back off until they can go ahead and get it back because that's really you know the source of uh, why they're able to farm so well in some of these lanes right now. After Moon Net actually grabbing the blue wraith as well, and then they're looking to help with the uh, Nunu on his own blue. Yeah, the blue ray is definitely uh, a nice thing to get sometimes in the uh, bot lane. They can transition up here, so Unstoppable is going to be fine as well. But it does allow them to keep within range of that, uh, you know, mini golem benefit that they're getting. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see how that's going to kind of work out. Um, Ezreal Ooh. and Janna, they have really strong harass. So with the Ezreal shield, or with the shield on Ezreal, you know, if he gets in range, he can kind of poke them down some. But Lulu is one of the best duelists. So Lulu actually usually wins the matchup against Janna. Um, Janna's shield is a little bit stronger, but, you know, Lulu's other abilities uh, allow her to harass a little bit, particularly her Glitter Lance. Yeah, not, yeah. Look at the Glitter Lance level one. The slow it provides at level one is immense. It is huge. That can definitely set up a lot of kills for Nian later on down the line. Meanwhile, going back to mid and right now, level two, Salsa's is getting chunked out pretty decently by Nubby Puvier. But also, you know, look at Nubby right now. His mana, he's extremely low. And uh, he's just, he's going to have no choice. He's going to have to sit back for a little while. Yeah, and I actually like that from Lemon Nation. Using the shield on Nat Nguyen to attack Aphromoo, actually, with the Glitter Lance. <laughs> so, you know, because Aphromoo is sitting back and playing defensively, he can't quite get in range. That's really nice to see. And <laughs> it is pretty easy with both Graves and Lulu to pop that uh, Janna shield. So, Janna, yeah. uh, you won't get the AD advantage on Ezreal because of how quickly they can pop it. Uh, Nunu started making his way up top, but because Malphite is sitting back by his tower, he should be okay. And actually, high. L9, he might come in if Nubby Pooh Bear gets one snare, just kind of walking up for Salsa. Salsa needs to be careful right now. Yep, and Nubby's gotten uh, the majority of his mana back, so this could be a good opportunity. There you go, the flash, the prism coming in from Rise, but the nice, uh, nice charge from Gragas will get him out of there to safety. He was ignited at half health, should be able to regen that pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, so we'll uh, see how that lane kind of progresses. But uh, Rise generally pretty pretty safe. And Wings of Death, you know, using that just early spear harass along with the auto attacks to kind of abuse Yuzuki right here. He's getting he's auto attacks yeah, really down out under tower. This is just mean. Yeah, and he, he did miss out on a lot of CS. He doesn't yeah. have quite enough damage to hit the uh, the melee minions after the double shot. So Lee Sin oh, actually waiting once out. again. Oh, Nubby Pooh Bear just no. barely not able to get that in time. Yeah, see, so, you know, now you see Lee Sin, he's looking to camp out, he's looking to camp out mid. He's trying to deny uh, as much farming to Gregus as possible just by sheer harass. We can only do so much. There you go, dash in from the end, but he's actually going to be, may very well be taking a little bit more damage than he's dishing out. Shield going down, also on Aphromoo, just yeah, keeping safe. Yeah, Unstoppable coming nice... in onto Nubby Pooh Bear. Salsa actually jumping in on oh. it underneath the turret. He is taking a lot of damage Ignite. to the Ignite as well, so Should not going to get the kill, but they force him out of lane, which allows Salsa a time to get some quick levels, and Salsa really needs to get those early levels get to level six yeah so he can just farm from a distance and doesn't have to worry about being in rise's kill zone you know and there are also a lot of ap mids that just you know their power just grows exponentially as soon as they hit six as soon as they get their ult and uh, gregus is definitely one of them because that barrel has a boatload of damage it's very deceptive how much damage actually does in addition 
to the uh, special properties, uh, you know, like the knockback, uh, like specifically the knockback here as well. And it's interesting um, with how strong Gragas's barrel still is. I remember back when they nerfed Gragas, where it used to have a 60 second cooldown at level one, and so you'd just be throwing out barrels left and right. And they nerfed it to 90 seconds, and everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, Gragas is so worthless. How could you do this to us?" And 90 seconds is still extremely short. High L9 still sitting down here. Nubby Pooh Bear has enough for I the snare, fear, but he doesn't have the flash. I fear Lee Sin maybe wasting a little bit of his time here because salsa i mean he can just he can get out of these situations pretty reasonably quick however yes his flash is down his night his ignite is down as well but he's playing too safe at the moment yeah and he, uh, sorry um salsa he knows that the lane was pushing the lane was all the way against the other tower so it would have been suicide for him to walk up and try and farm yeah. that so he's going to be fine nidalee so far though actually i like what i'm seeing because the entire bushes are trapped uh nunu actually <laughs> walking up behind yuzuki to get some nice harass and wings of death can chase him down he's There's only level nice. five but it's still a lot of harass going into yuzuki they might actually decide to tower dive this with how low he's getting another, uh, ice, another ball. ice there ball. is the ignite on nidalee still one more spear he does nice, flash, flash for it. will be enough there yes. it goes no first shield. blood no shield, Leeson's not there in time to play the medic, unfortunately, and there you go. Wings of Death will go ahead and grab that first blood. Nice, aggressive play, and unstoppable right on time with those snowballs for the slows. Very well done. Yeah, and it's really nice play from Wings of Death so far. And um, as I was saying, the entire bushes up top are trapped. So m not allowing Malphite to use those bushes, not allowing Lee Sin to use them either to yeah. you know, get in for ganks. So he, he just has complete control of this lane right now. Uh, and, you know, AD Nidalee, that's what AD Nidalee does. He, uh, you just control the lane against whoever you're going against. 44 CS to Malphite's 27. So that's really strong. Malphite does pick up the door and shield, which, I, you know, it seems is probably underestimated a little bit. Like, every time we see it, it's, it helps to stabilize lanes very easily, and um, it's just a strong overall regen and health and armor item. Yep, Wings of Death, he's also got a, he had a little bit of free farm time to himself there as well, but should be backing, should be buying something nice here. Uh, you know, also got Nian looking to push down bot. But uh, Lulu did decide to back with Lulu grab up. Just, you know, got the feel of stone, finish it off, getting some wards as well. Now, they're pushing pretty aggressively, so they do need that ward coverage. Prevent against the ganks coming in from Nunu. And you saw on top lane how effective those can be. Not to mention, you got Jana here. You got the slow. You got the pop-up in the tornado. Oh, it is AP Nidalee. Huzzah! Nice. There it goes. Yeah, getting the catalyst. catalyst. I, I'm really excited to see this. So that's what we thought it was going to be coming into the champ select. So they are going with a poke comp. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be really exciting to see as the game progresses. But Nidalee already in control of this lane with the AD, you know, recognizes, all right, Malphite, he's going to be transitioning into an armor build, and he's going to be expecting me to constantly have this AD harass. So, um, you know, that's going to be nice for Lane for some of that spamming if she can hit some of those spears. But then later on, just all three of them wearing them down over time, and then Janna can completely control the fights and not allow engages. And because uh, Orb has this short range team that they can't really force engages other than Malphite, um, it's difficult for them to get up close and personal. Uh, TSM, they can just, you know, constantly disengage and constantly poke them down and then take tur turrets off of that. Now, AP Nidalee is not something we all really see too commonly anymore. Uh, why, uh, why is that? Well, the big thing is, one, AP Nidalee can't control the lane as effectively as AD Nidalee. So if you run AP Nidalee, then your lane opponent's going to be able to start farming and be successful there. I mean, Nidalee is still a strong laner, but they nerfed her so many times that it's just it's tough for Nidalee to control any lanes. And actually, Rise coming up into the top lane. Wings of Death does spot him with the trap, but uh, he is still kind of trapped. The, there it is, the snare, the follow-up from follow Malphite. The quick burst, Wings of Death going wow, down. Wow, that is good synergy. It's good synergy with that ult. You had the you had this you had the prism. W Pooh Bear coming on up. Yuzuki following up with the ult, and that was more more than enough damage just right in front of her range. But oh, there you go. Salsi didn't get the ward vision. Down oh, Pooh Bear. knocking and him nice. back into the barrel. Wow, Salsi, you were the man. See, that was, that know, was cool. That that was that was pretty pretty sexy that was pretty boss i you know that was that was definitely exciting um all right the next thing on <laughs> on ap nidalee so top 10 reasons why ap nidalee isn't played that much anymore uh number one you know the laning isn't as strong as ad so it's kind of like what's the point even um the team fighting potential it's it's tough like nidalee ap nidalee it takes a while to get up to full uh fighting potential and that's true of all poke teams you have uh you're you know you have a strong laning phase but your mid game 
can be very weak. And having a weak mid games, a lot of times AOE teams, uh, you know, can beat you. Teams with hard initiation in particular really do well against poke teams because you can just force fights and easily win fights. And the AP Nidalee is very weak in those mid game fights. Late game, you have the poke potential. However, if your team is behind, then it doesn't really matter sometimes because the other team can just force fights or you know take objectives or whatnot. Um, and those are the kind of the issues. Is that you know it's it's kind of more of a uh, late mid game strat like it's not mm. uber late game uber late game you know it, it um you know you have a lot of poke but you're still weak in fights and that's just it's the fact that you're weak in fights and it's difficult to play is why people don't play it it's you, you have to hit your spears and even then you know you don't know that you're going to win the game yeah but you know there's there's so much poke though right now in evo and they're gonna hit something it's either gonna be a spear or a barrel or ezreal <laughs> <laughs> and the big thing is just to keep Malphite away from them. So Malphite is the only hard initiation for yeah. Orbit. So uh, as long as they can keep up a gold advantage early on and then not allow that initiation, they can push Orbit around a little bit. Gragas is coming down this bottom lane, though. They want to continue with these early advantages so that they can get their team a little bit later in the game where the poke will work. And as a result, you know, pushing Orbit out of lane here. So um, Ezreal, he, has, uh, he is behind Graves right now. Graves doing a really nice job controlling that lane. A lot of it is the Lulu support and how effective that can be in that uh, Lulu versus Janna matchup. Yeah, and Lulu, you know, those glitter lances we saw before, even just at level one. Yeah, Lemon Nation's been hitting them. The slow, the slow is just so, um, just so immense. But they are you know, recognizing that the bot lane is gone and there's still, you know, not, not a whole lot of vision on uh, you know, Lisa and Rise though. There is a nice opportunity to go ahead and just really quickly swoop in, take the dragon and get out. But then you know, you have you have Nunu, that's the consume. You have the smite as well. That's a lot of damage already being shaved off of the dragon. Yeah, you, you got plenty of damage on Afrimu, and you got and he got Salsa here. That's plenty of damage on those barrels. It's gonna be no issue. Yeah, so we'll we'll see how you know this is going to progress for uh, TSM Evo. One of the big issues is that there's such little room for error with the poke comp. Yuzuki actually chasing down Wings of Death. He does have his ultimate and the ignite. He might actually go in for this if he gets him low enough. It's kind of close. I don't and think he has that. enough damage, so he'll probably want to back off, and he will. Yeah. But um, yeah, if uh, there's a very little room for error with the poke team. Like if you lose any mid game fights and fall behind at all, uh, if the enemy team gets barren, then they just have a high enough regen that your poke doesn't even matter. And you know they can just kind of walk right up and stomp you, but uh, we'll see. I'm excited. It's it's been a while since I've seen you know full kind of poke team. Um, you know, there's a couple of teams that do run it. CLG number one coming yeah. to mind. That's what, what they're famous for. Yeah, they've done it some as well. And any team that runs AP Cog, you know, that's uh, the long range poke. But to see the Nidalee, uh AP Nidalee, it's it's been a while. Mm. So, but then again, you could also see. Uh you do have a fair amount of tanky uh, champs on orb that could build very tanky. Rise being one of them, and Frozen Heart is naturally one of the items he builds into. He's actually, you know, he got the Catalyst and the Tear. Could actually be going into the uh, the Rod of Ages as well, or even the Banshee's Veil at that. Uh, at that. So that's gonna start him on the tanky road. Malphite could also build tanky, but then again, you know, we were mentioning before, uh, Wings of Death top lane doing a really good job controlling the lane. So he's gonna be denied a little bit of farm, hence the stacking of the GP10s. He has the Feel of Stone and the Heart of Gold as well. Glitter Lance coming in from Lemon Nation. Uh, Danny Lynn trying to do something there, and uh, there you go, you got picks falling around, being annoying just for a second. Yeah, and it's interesting. Uh, when we were talking about the Lulu versus uh, Janna matchup, and both Nunu and uh, Gragas are coming down here, they want to fight. L only level two for Glitterlands, and level two, that's 125 damage, then with an auto attack, that's enough to take down a level four shield. So just a level two Glitter Lance with an auto attack is enough to take down the level four shield. And that's the kind of pressure that uh, Lulu brings in that matchup. So, um, you know, Janna is very safe later on in the game and having that team fight control is going to be huge. And actually Gragas walking down for oh, elimination. There you go. There's the barrel. Oh, the nice flash. flash over will actually be pushed to safety. Good timing on that from Lemon Nation. Yeah, really nice play. Uh, Able to get back out of there, so not allowing the lead to continue any further. But still, Orb is, uh, you know, they're sticking in there. But TSM Evo, they, uh, you know, they, they're doing a pretty nice job. And uh, I, I don't know, the mid game is definitely going to be extremely interesting. W Pooh Bear does have a little bit of time with the mid turret, though. Uh, unstoppable, you know, but smite a minion, make the wave a little bit easier to clear. It's going to go down quicker than uh, than usually would to the normal turret. But uh, that's the thing, though, with Gregus going down bot for the gank attempt. That does leave a little bit of time for Rise to farm in the mid, 
but you also have Malphite coming on down, and there's a lot of vision actually in the North River from uh, Evo, so they know far in advance that Malphite's coming down to try and make something happen. Nunu going, grabbing the race real quick, and uh, Heil9, he's here in mid, trying to see if he can't find something unstoppable, and Yazuki doing it out, but there you go, to the ward. The barrel keeping everyone safe, but unlike Nunu though, he will be going down. The barrel trying to push everybody aside, but not doing enough. But there you go, Nian trying to make something happen down on everyone. Does get Lu ulted, does get the pop up, and a little bit extra health missing the Ezreal ult completely. But uh, is there anything going to be able to uh, come out of this? I don't think so. Yeah, really nice burst from Afrimu. Oh, Nanu, Nanu, but he's actually very low, though. He Nian can not... get something here. Afrimu trying to retreat the best he can and both throwing up some damage in the meantime. Polymorph going down him as well. He is a squirrel, will not be catching up, I do not think. Oh, Bro, but there, the ooh, getting very low. And the ult from Nian actually going to be able to finish the job. But here comes Salse coming on down. One barrel can do it here. The ignite going down. The slam. Boom. Yeah, really nice play from TSM Evo there. Uh, able to turn it around. But Graves biding his time, able to pick up Aphromoo. In the meantime, Nubby Pooh Bear takes down the mid turret. And that's something we've seen a lot from him. Um, you know, that kind of ability to push. Actually, it was Salse, the last game, who yeah, uh, was. You know, uh, put, put that pressure on. Uh, but really nice job. Oh, he's Actually, looking to steal the, for the red, red here. Yeah, nice. so uh, that's definitely nice. Um, you know, Malphite is coming along. He's not as that far behind uh, Nidalee. Nidalee does have a nice lane advantage, but, uh, you know, but, well, he's yeah, still going to be fine. Yeah, I think they want to see if they can make something uh, happen up top lane. It worked so well before, but Yazuki does not have the ult. So uh, he's gonna have to, you know, chill up for a second. Plus, it also helps that uh, Wings of Death actually decided to back as well. If you want to be safe, it's it's a good way to do it. But uh, now we got the uh, you got Lee Sin here with the Oracles looking to clean up a little bit. Wants to make sure that uh, they haven't been caught here, and it does not appear that they will be. Actually, you know, most of the wards uh, actually going around uh, Bot River. Yeah, but Nidalee is up top again, and so Malphite they have their stopped. target. Both Rise and Lee Sin are coming up here. They're going to be able to tank this tower very easily, and yep. it's going to be very difficult for Wings of Death to get out of there. He's actually diving onto Yuzuki. Ult is now the rest up for Malphite. This could be here. This could be it. Where is the prism? There it is. Combo with the Malphite ult. Real quick, you use the kick. Yeah, hi, use the kick too, just to be flashy. But oh, meanwhile, but Botlin did get a lot of chunk damage down on Aphromoo. He will shift away. Yeah, and the damage that they have in that bottom lane is just so terrifying for both uh, you know Ezreal and Janna. So Graves doing a really nice job there. Um, you know, the harass from Lemonation. But uh, yeah, it's it's going to be tough for Nidalee. I mean, you need to just keep on farming, keep the farm up. He's doing fine as far as that's concerned. He is, you know, getting pretty deep into his build. Yep. But uh, once he hits that Rabadons, that's going to be, you know, when he really starts to hurt and when they can start pushing. And the big thing is get the early push, get the early towers so that you can set them up underneath the tower at like the second turrets. And, um, you know, uh, being for orbit to be able to take early turrets does stall out the push from TSM Evo. So they can, you know, if because they already have the mid turret, if they get the second turret as well, then it all of a sudden TSM Evo they're on the defensive. They can't go up and you know just push a lane and try and. And uh, bot tier one looks like it's actually going to go down here. Just one more. There you go. And as the end, it's time to go ahead for the engage. Ult from Lulu will make him huge. Yet yeah, is a squirrel trying to get away. Flash out of the smoke screen, but Nian will not be able to catch up and stop over there with the blood boil will get Janna to safety. Nice hustle. Nice hustle from Orbit. Yeah, so they're able to back out of there. And, uh, you know, Orbit doing a nice job. They have the gold advantage in this game. They're transitioning over to and the dragon. dragon. They're going to be able to take that. Nidalee is going to be able to get down this top turret, so she can continue pushing there. Uh, Wings of Death actually going to back off. So, um, you know, they, they don't have vision on the dragon. They don't really know where the enemy is. But, um, yeah, oh, so Salsa they know could now. be caught out here. Does have the barrel. He could actually get to safety if he just if he really needs to. But I don't think he's going to be popping the barrel quite yet. Also, look at Nubby Pooh Bear. Has the Banshee's Veil. Will be safe from the Gregus ult if used. But uh, does, will he still get knocked back though? Not not if the Gregus ult hits him. I mean, if mm -hmm. another if some if the shield breaks first, um, yep. you know. But I mean, it's pretty easy to break a shield with yeah. the poke team. But uh, the shield is up, you know, frequently enough that it. It helps prevent some of that harass damage, and that's the yep. big thing. You're keeping yourself up high oh, long enough. Orbit. They're just muscling out this tier two and yeah. bot. They should be able to get it pretty convincingly. They do have the minion wave to support it, and all the damage. Nian just cutting around the tower, and there you go. Orb, another turret and bot. More gold globally going to the whole team. 
And that's, Ooh. that's the thing. They know that the team isn't ready yet. TSM Evo, they're not ready to just stall out and, you know, both the games. <laughs> and they also see Wings of Death is just on his lonesome, pushing top lane. But, you know, in the meantime, though, the rest of your team is actually, they may oh, very well be falling end. apart. Aphromoo looking at duel here with uh, Nian. Uh, Graves popping the cleanse. The ult going down. Aphromoo may actually go there. Shield from High L9. Going to save the day. Yeah, just barely being able to get out of there. Nidalee, in the meantime, still pushing down that bottom turret, or that top turret. She's actually going to get it. So Wings of Death with the split push is working out. Orbit, they want to keep up their push. They don't want to allow TSM Evo uh, to just, you know, stall them at a turret and then slowly wear them down. But they definitely have to worry about that Nidalee. And uh, regardless of whether you go AP or AD, the Nidalee split push is, you know, absolutely fantastic with the, uh, the heal giving you that attack speed bonus and being able to clear out the waves. Rise is actually trying to catch her off. So uh, Nubby Prepare is seeing spot. if but, but this is the thing though, now now Wings of Death needs to take the little super long way around just to get home. Oh wow, look at that Q. I don't even think he really intended to hit that. Yeah, he was trying to get the blue, but Wings of Death had already <laughs> taken it. So Wings of Death took their blue earlier. Um, you know, that helps him with the split push some more. And uh, <clears throat> I, 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 I just, I just want to know what was going through uh, High All Nine's head and just like, Oh man, I wonder if the blue is like, here. Oh, hello. Holy crap, I was not expecting that pretty lady. Oh, hello lady. Hello. Uh, yeah, so um don't hit me. Yeah. What? <laughs> he's, he's like, "Yo, you're you're a cat. You're you're a cougar. Don't don't maul me to death. I just wanted to see if my blue was there. Don't hurt me." Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was like, you know, we, we were saying joking about the "Oh, hello lady" hello, uh, conversation. And like, then hey. you were like, "Don't hit me." And I was like, like, "Is this Well, that well, then again, like if, if I ever did see, you know, Nidalee in person, that's be, you know, it's like, "Hey, how are you doing? Don't hit me." Yeah, <laughs> but uh, Orbit, you know, they have a 1K gold advantage, and so, um, you know, that's the, the big thing. They, they kept themselves ahead, so they, they don't have to worry about TSM Evo just constantly stalling them. They do have to worry, you know, with Gragas, how quickly he can clear the waves. Um, so that's definitely going to be a concern later. But if they can force the fights, uh, you know, then maybe they can take advantage of some things. They don't have a Shirelias currently, so they need Lulu to finish that Shirelias <laughs> so that they can have that hard initiation. Because otherwise, Janet is going to be able to kite them all day. Mm. You know, nice also from W Poo Bear. Very, uh, very good placed ward there by the race. Gonna go ahead and steal those real quick. But uh, yeah, Shirelias needs to happen. But uh, you know, I just want to see. Hey, Lou actually ended up going for the uh, the Aegis. Still on tier one boots. Also, playing. she's got the speed buffs. So that's fine. But uh, yeah, these engage. You know, something something needs to happen for TSM Evo here, real quick. Because you know, the the gold lead is very oh, minimal. Nothing, nothing needs to happen real quick. That's the whole point of a poke <laughs> team. Is but, it, it happens real slow. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing, though. Orb, they're being they're being really aggressive though, and they're really trying to muscle out these objectives, these turrets. You know, we saw in bot lane, all four of them though, they were really being aggressive with that. And, you know, if they catch Evo off guard though, they can just keep on muscling out more and more objectives. And we did mention earlier about the Baron, and I wonder if Orb could actually, you know, very, you know, I wonder if Orb actually has enough damage and if they can actually catch Evo off guard to sneak it even. Yeah, at this point, it's going to be kind of difficult because Gragas alone can defend against it. And that's one of the strengths of Gragas. You can steal Baron extremely easily or, you know, pick up kills there. But uh, once they have some pressure, they actually go, they're, you know, I bite my tongue. There they are. They're, uh, they're just going to go doing right it. They're going to try and sneak it. They have vision on mid. Ezreal and Janna are there. And Evo has no idea they might actually be able to take it. Janna, not even They're not even coming. Out. They're not making a move. This is it. Orbit's actually going to be able to secure this Baron pretty easy. Janna is still, though, just like wandering around. Does take a quick shot from uh, from Rise. Pile 9 getting very low, though. This could be bad. Okay, he's got it. He's safe. He's fine. Yeah, and there it's you fine. go. Lulu could have tanked it. But having the Baron is absolutely devastating for TSM Evo and what they're trying to do right now. So not even defending it, um, you know, they're just... They, they weren't as far behind as I think they felt they uh, felt they were. So they, they just didn't want to, you know, fight uh, Orb head on because Orb uh, would win, you know, those just full 5v5 fights, but they needed to poke them down some and wear them down, not allow them to get Baron. So now with that Baron, Orb can just push down a lane and have enough regen where they can tank the turret a little bit, particularly Malphite. Malphite can, you know, tank the mm -hmm. turret a little bit. They get a couple of, you know, poke shots in on the turret, and then they don't have to worry so much about getting low over time against TSM Evo's team because they have that regen. That rise is also a little bit far out. Getting the, getting some vision necessary. See the pings go down. Nat may actually go down very quicker. Does get caught out. Is in the prism. What? 
The, the monsoon oh, actually sent a nubby poo bear, bear over into the blue he pit. He actually could get the snare. There it is. Oh, the flash unstoppable. onto Unstoppable. Malphite could follow it up, but actually wow, the flash over look the wall. At so Unstoppable speed. gets over there, and they are able to back off. But <laughs> Orb is in complete I control right now. don't think I've ever seen a Nunu run that fast before. That was Blood Boil plus Shirelia's. I He was on speed, man. That was crazy. But orb can go ahead and muscle out the tier two tower yeah. here is going to be no issue whatsoever and here's the issue with both lee sin and lulu and on malphite's armor they can tank the turrets and yes. usually uh you know gragas he can clear the waves and that'll stall you out some but if malphite can tank the turrets with those shields and they can you know wear down the um towers then that can be an issue for them so orbit they back off they're going to get this dragon be able to get that gold lead and uh yeah 4k and falling for tsm evo currently um, you know, we'll see what is uh, Nidalee at right now. She's almost done the Rabadons. How much gold does she have? Uh, 800. So she needs another 1,000 gold to finish off that Rabadons, and then she's really going to be hitting hard. But uh, up until then, they're yeah. just going to be extremely tanky, and it's going to be difficult for them. Yeah, and speaking of uh, speaking of 1,000 gold, there goes down the Dragon. So it's a little bit more extra gold going into Orb's pocket. The gold lead now 5K and climbing. And you still got uh, you still got a little bit of time left on that Baron buff as well. So you know they got to, they got opportunities a little a little bit less than two minutes remaining. So uh, Baron should actually be coming up around the uh, you know around the 30 31 minute mark as well. So in case you know, this does time out, they can just go ahead and grab another one if they can sneak it. But uh, right now though, I think Orbit should actually just take their advantage, pick a lane, push it, and see if they can't take out an inhibitor, possibly mid. Yeah, and the big thing is they're just concerned if they, they have an advantage right now and they want to continue with that lead. Mm -hmm. And as the game progresses, um, you know, the poke team is going to get stronger at poking but weaker at team fights, whereas they're going to get stronger and stronger at team fights. So they, they don't want to stall out at a turret, and that's the big thing. They don't want to just push to, decide to push down mid too early, and then TSM EVO is able to stall them and just, you know, wear them down, and Orbit loses their advantage. So they, they want to keep their advantage and just, you know, pressure the gold lead off of it. Uh, so they really, they want to pick people off, and they need an Oracles for that. Lee Sin needs to come out here. Clear the ward. There it goes. Grab that. This could be a very bad situation, though. Uh, you know, right now, Orbit, they are outnumbered in Evo's jungle. It could be a very ugly 3v5 if Rise and Graves do not hurry on up. I believe, I believe Nian's actually just going to be split pushing bot. And uh, you saw Rise earlier shoving top, and... Uh, Yuzuki's gonna go ahead and finish the job. Just keep that wave pushing. And the, oh, now you see Nubby Pooh Bear go the long way around. Ping's going around. I think they're trying to pinch in Nidalee or something. There you go. Wings of Death face checking that bush. Could be a disaster here. Nubby Pooh Bear with a lot of damage going down into Nidalee. Yeah, so he has to get out of there. But uh, I'm a little bit surprised that Orbit isn't pushing down the top turret just to get all the outer turrets and, you know, get that kind of a lead. Take, make sure they have complete control over the top uh, jungle. But Yuzuki able to grab that red. Actually, High L9 is going to grab it. And, uh, yeah, the Baron is down. So, you know, they will hold off yep. until that next Baron at uh, around 30 minutes. Yep, 30, 40 should uh, somewhere around there, yep. you know, give or take a few seconds. But, you know, Orb can still go ahead. They still have a great lane presence here in mid. And also, you got High L9, top lane, split pushing. If anyone could use some experience, it's him. He's been, uh, it's, it's been a rough game for him so far. It hasn't been too involved with a lot of the ganks, with a lot of the team fights, but you know what he's getting knight and the spears though, those spears do still hurt. It is still a constant threat, but this is a successful distraction here in the mid. Leeson should be able to yeah. go ahead and get that top tier but too. One spear and one barrel, and already Nubby Pooh Bear was below half. Mm. Hyle Nine can push down that top turret, and that's one issue is that uh, TSM Eva they can't split uh, very well. So Gragas come up here to stall him, but you know it does kind of spread them a little bit too thin if they they need to all be kind of grouped under one lane so split pushing is definitely uh, a nice strategy for orbit right now to try and pull them out of advantage after getting some nice damage and uh, elimination has to back off for a second there yep. and uh nubby poo bear with his ultimate he's able to regen back uh, a you also bit. see salsa chasing down lee sin just for a little bit just for a tad and really quick uh, wow. kill going I, on there i didn't realize that he was actually going for the kill i saw lee sin on the other side of the wall but uh salsa just you know having that much burst damage able Boom. to pick him up Where's the slam? DFG, even. The try and oh, kick wow. away. Oh, lucky throw. But yeah, really, it, it really long range throw. Far. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so that's a really nice play. And they are actually transitioning back into this mid, even though Lee Sin is down. Uh, you know, so that's kind of surprising. They they kind of did, they didn't come mid when they had the Baron buff. Um, you know, now this is kind of stall out for them a little bit. But I think there's going to be about another minute 
until the Baron comes back up. So I think you know what they're you know the objective here right now is for Orb to just clear enough time where they can actually go swoop in and take it once again when it respawns. Because you know that was really the biggest thing for them in those past few plays. The fact that it's like, hey, when you have Baron buff, you can go ahead and take objectives real easy. Yeah, so we'll see how they deal with this. Nidalee, uh, just 100 gold off of that Rampadon. So she's finally in the money. Um, you know, that'll be nice. Uh, trying to steal the, uh, <laughs> the blue from Salse there. So, um, yeah, that's. Well, I, I'm not sure. I, I, I think Salse probably needs it a little bit more at this point just because yeah. he doesn't have the same large mana pool that Nidalee does. But uh, Nidalee, you know, definitely is extremely mana hungry. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But they, they have been able to, you know, stimmy the advancing tide of Orbit right now. And Orbit, you know, has a 6k gold lead, but they haven't been able to push in. They haven't been able to take anything definitive, uh, you know, to show their oh, lead. Wow, one spear. One yeah, this spear. is where it gets exciting. The Rabbitons, <laughs> the Rabbitons is up on Nidalee, uh, and Nidalee this just is... gets to, you know, press Q all day and enjoy now, herself. Now we're in pulling teeth mode because every single chunk, every single one of those spears just can hurt so incredibly much it's just walking on walking on glass at this point there's a shirelli's pop though getting the uh, malphite ult down onto a new but the blood bowl running away with the shirelli's pop will actually keep them safe and now orb they're in a precarious situation dfg from salsi actually going down on malphite but afro being chunked over the wall unstoppable running out in front not quite sure just running in a circle just taking some damage there but orbit they're a little bit split nubby oh, Bear is far it. away oh. there is the barrel going down and uh rise actually being pushed away, far and away from the rest of the team. That's what we were talking about with our team. The Janna and the Nunu and, you know, the Gragas and everything. So, uh, Malphite, they pop the Shirelias uh, on both Lulu and Malphite to try and get a hard engage. Yep. And they just, they you know, they forced it. But even so, Orb is uh, it up. TSM Evo was able to disengage. And as a result, TSM Evo is just able to slowly wear them down. And they are able to pick up this Baron. It's very low. They might actually come in to, uh, to defend this, but it's going to be tough for them. Oh, they pick up the this Baron. This could be bad. This oh, could be bad. Hi, oh, you're way too far away. Away, shield to somebody, anything, please get out of there. Yeah, Gragas' ult is up again, so if he gets caught out, uh, but they are able to back off. They pop the Shrelias of their own, they get out of there, they have the Baron buff, so they can just stall forever at this point, and then, you know, start to win these fights just by wearing down Orbit. Uh, their team is ready. Actually, Nubby Pooh Bear trying to get up to get a uh, snare on someone, but they get out of there with another Shrelias, so they are able to back off. Yep. Orb just no fear no fear up against tsm evil it's like yeah you got baron yeah we know you're defending your towers we're still gonna do our best to try and push and actually you know dragon is up so they can take that really quick before evo has a chance to react yeah and so that's uh you know they can keep up their gold lead up uh, another big thing they'll want to do is make sure they just control all the blues from now on so you know definitely don't allow nidalee or gragas to get a blue mm -hmm. but um I don't know. We'll, ha we'll have to see. At this point, you know, TSM Evo, their their team is ready. They just all they need to do is just spam their abilities and uh, play defensively, and they can you know win those fights just by stalling them out. So um, it's going to be you know kind of difficult for Orb. But if Orb can get the engage and just force a fight and get past the Janna, the Janna is the key. Uh, then you know they should be okay. I am. Uh, I am looking though. You know, a lot of the item builds. And I, I'm noticing too. You know, Unstoppable is actually behind in experience by their own support. Janet actually has a one level lead on the jungler. Uh, is I think that does kind of, a, you know, well actually even then you look at Lee Sin in comparison to Lou, they're both the same level. I also yeah. think it's, it's a, it really speaks to how, how involved the junglers have been in this game, which unfortunately I don't think is really a whole lot. Yeah, and I mean, it's not that much of a concern. Nunu is, you know, he's there for the blood boil and he's there for the ultimate. He, as long as he can do those two jobs, you know, they're going to be happy with him. So, yeah. uh, you know, Shirelli is as well. Uh, you know, that's always going to be nice. But he's just kind of a tanky body to, you know, throw off some, uh, I don't know, throw a block off for the rest of his team, basically. Mm. And then they, they have enough burst uh, between the rest of them. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see as Orbit starts itemizing into uh, a little bit more health. Uh, and, you know, magic resist, how well they can deal with all that sustained poke damage. But Gragas, he already has the Rabadons and the Void Staff to go along with the Death Fires. So he has a lot of burst. You know, Nidalee is getting up there as well. She has a lot of burst. And uh, they're just going, it's going to be tough for them. And this is kind of an interesting, interesting thing. This is the situation where, you know, a lot of times Ezreal can go with a Triforce and, uh, you know, you don't really need that sustained damage. Now he has a Triforce and an Infinity Edge, so he can 1v1 people very easily and take people down. But the Triforce definitely works with that poke team. I, yeah, I, I think um, 
I really think we should just not focus the camera on whoever's getting speared because I am just like... Oh, you're so oh, squeamish. I am squeamish. I am here. Just like to see those health bars go down I'm so just, drastically. Uh, every single spear from now on, I'm just going to slow-mo <laughs> track the spear in. Well, then again, you know, if you get a huge kill... Spear they, uh, isn't going to happen. <laughs> Uh, I think we should. I don't know. We should just stay on live, though. The very no, no, no. Spear. No. Not, oh, just not barely every missing. Every time, just every single time. From play now at on. normal speed. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that one hit. That one doesn't really hit. matter that much. Okay, it's, so uh, now, that's malfight. But there is the Baron buff. It, it's, it's actually the uh, the buff is actually going to be going away in about thirty seconds. So uh, you know this ridiculous damage will only get slightly less ridiculous. Uh, after that buff decides to go away. And the, the thing is, though, there you have Evo. They're trying to get a push on here in this mid-tower, but there's no minion support. And I think the it's it's they're only going to be able to get the benefit off of this one wave. Yeah, and Lulu is pretty strong at clearing waves, even as a support. So, um, you know, that's pretty nice. Along with Graves, Graves can clear pretty easily. And uh, they can stall for a little bit, as long as they can avoid the spears. So that's, you know, always the concern. But... Um, <laughs> I mean that's kind of the issue with the poke team is if you if you can't land your spells, uh, or if you allow you know the enemy team to get ahead or get invade, oh. then you can be at a disadvantage. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight is when the Baron will be back up. So you know that's uh, that's the objective to be looking at next here. But uh, Orbit can also use these uh, use this precious time to go ahead and start to uh, force these objectives and set up for the Baron. You look at top lane. There's a pretty huge wave. They can get its push on here, but uh, there is uh, you know Evo. They are looking to go ahead and grab their own blue. Yeah, and I'm I'm kind of surprised that Orbit didn't decide to yeah. defend that blue. So, you know, in that kind of close range situation, yeah, they would you know get chunked out a little bit, but they would get the blue. They would be able to fight if uh, Evo decided to just you know fight them head out. Mm. Um, so you know letting them have it, but uh, you know I guess that's okay. Salsa he already has some decent cooldown reduction. It's just that max cooldown reduction and spam ability yeah. is going to be something for them to worry about. Wait, how, actually, I, I want. What is the cooldown on the barrel anyway right now? Uh, barrels are like five seconds, I'm guessing. In a, in a big barrel. Four seconds. Big oh, barrel. Uh, Thirty-six seconds. Yeah. That's so pretty almost short. every wave. <laughs> that is ridiculously short. Yeah, yeah, you can basically use it to clear minion waves if you're, you know, ever getting close. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. And anyway, that's with him with the blue buff at that. So he's more. He's he's pretty far along with that. He's got quite a fair amount of cooldown reduction on him as is. But uh, so you got Orbit. They want to go ahead. They want that counter push. They want to just you know set up the uh, the framework for an attempt at Baron later if they can. But you know Evo, all the strong poke though, they can definitely fight this. Yeah, and Evo, they're kind of hesitant to push right now. So they they know that their poke can beat Orbit, but if they get caught out of position, then you know TSM Evo is just going or Orbit's going to have a field day. So yeah, um, TSM Evo. If it's in a lane, like if they see Malphite coming, then Janna can get them out of there and they'll be fine. If yeah. they push up, then maybe Malphite comes in from the side, you know, flanks them a little bit. Uh, that's, you know, kind of a common thing. Comes in from behind even and forces them into the fight. And they don't want to be in any fights. So as a result, they're just kind of sitting back, waiting for Orbit to make a move so that they can, you know, wear down Orbit in that situation. Yeah. But the uh, Baron, it, it's actually going to be up shortly. So they, you know, can force this and force TSM Evo to make a move. Yeah, last time... Uh Last time Nidalee got caught out by Rise, just the combo took her down to below half. And, you know, imagine what would have happened if the rest of Orbit was there. I mean, it would have just been a straight up dead Nidalee, period, the end. But the Orbit, they are still, they're chilling here in this one bush. And then Yen going to go out and find, uh, push the wave. I believe they're trying to bait something out here from Evo of just everyone lying in wait. And yet they are taking the bait and see they're sticking around yeah they're going to actually lose Our, their tower if they don't defend this so yeah, they have to the they're turret. forcing them to do it and right now the rest of orbit they're here laying in wait seeing what they can get off of this they managed to get the turret so i'll say you know he brings his attention a little bit forward and they're like you know what fine you guys can just have the turret take it baron has respawned and now ward's going down in the pit yeah going down trying to just you know wants to get that vision there's the ward lulu out in the the back end Along with the uh, along with Lee Sin, they're looking to see if they can't clear it out of the way of Spears going in the pit, trying to see what they can grab off this as well. And the Nidley trap going in the middle as well. Spear, oof, every time. Yeah, and that's going to be the issue is that they're going to if uh, Orb decides to pressure that Baron, they're just going to constantly wear them down, and then they have to deal with the threat that Gragas is going to steal it. Um, you know, so we'll see. Orb, they do, are able to get that turret, so that's you know definitely huge for them. Uh, you know, one one fight for Orb could win them the game. The oh. arcane shift from Ezreal getting out of there. 
But um, that could have been bad. Yeah, it's just it's the fact that if Orbit wins one fight, they win. But if TSM Evo wins a fight, then they maybe get a tower or something. It's just it's a very you know slow methodical process uh, with very little room for error. So as a result, TSM Evo they're sitting back and playing kind of defensively right now. And the Banshees for uh, Orb right now that allows Malphite and uh, Rise to sit up front. Yeah. You know, if they get hit, they you know, it's it's a pretty short cooldown the on the Banshees. Banshees. The Banshees are plentiful and may very well uh, grow in number as well. I mean, well, Graves is Graves has one too. So there's three. Oh, are they actually Banshees. going for it? No. Okay. Oh no no no. But yeah, three Banshees right now on orbit. All that poke you know, is going to be yeah, it is going to be mitigated there. So it's like you know, hey, look at us. It's kind of like carnival games even. Yeah, but Orbit right now, they, they can't really force the fight that they want. They're sitting off in the shadows just waiting to try and pick someone <laughs> off in any which way direction. Uh, the Oracles is definitely huge. They probably should consider trying to clear out some of the uh, wards in the jungle. They're just, I think, concerned if they're walking around the jungle. It leaves them open for you know really close quarters where the spears will hit very easily. And now we have three Banshees for Orbit. So three Banshees uh, to just you know deny that poke. This could be ugly. This could get really ugly really quick as you know, well. But uh, Nien has been breaking off from the group quite often to try and deal with the other ways. And there we go. High L9 will be seen clearing the wave bot. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, Evo is not in position to really take advantage of a, uh, a 4v5 situation here. You know, Lulu leading the charge, going down into the Baron pit as well, just looking to uh, just get some presence. Wards, uh, there's actually no more wards right now. On orbit either, so if they're uh, if they're gonna be going for this Baron, they're, they're gonna be doing it at reduced vision. Plenty of wards though for Evo, so I think you know this could be a good uh, this could be definitely a good time for Orbit to actually go ahead, go back, get the wards that they need because they need to have some kind of coverage. There you go, High L9 picking up the slack. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, we'll see. I I think right now both teams are just you know kind of hesitant. Uh, you know, to have any sort of fights. I think if anyone, Orb needs to be the one to force the fight, and that's that's kind of what TSM EVO wants. They want Orb to force the fight, and for TSM EVO to just kind of sit back and allow them to shoot themselves in the foot. So, uh, Orb, you know, they don't really want that to happen. Um, I don't know, if, if they can get a full-on engage and get Rise up close and personal, that could work. But it's just, it's really difficult to engage against a Janna, and TSM EVO can stall all day. So it might be worthwhile it's, at some point uh, you know, as Orb gets deeper in their builds, to just walk up and use their shields and just tank the turret, kill the turret outright, then, you know, just tank the inhibitor and just bully their way through. Uh, since it's they probably can't, you know, force a fight against TSM Evo, they can at the very least just, you know, take their base from them. Oracles on Lee and on Graves as well, just clear out whatever vision possible. Graves is, uh, there you go, starting up onto the Baron. Gregus is behind the pit, walking back and forth. The thing is, though, will this Baron go down quick enough? Pretty much most of e uh, TSM Evo is here. There is a ward in the pit. Spear, no, will not be stealing it. Yeah, Greg is just a little bit slow there, almost being able to take it out. But uh, high L9, nice. he is pretty low, but they did get the Baron. And so that's huge. So now with the Baron, once they go back, the once they get continues. their items, they yeah, they can push. And that's that's the thing. They can probably just walk up, you know, tank the turret for a little bit at a time and uh, just slowly wear down TSM Evo's base. Um, you know, right now they probably could go back, get the uh, dragon, and then, you know, continue from there. They definitely want to spend some of that gold. Um, no, oh, yeah. not actually a whole lot. Malphite has some, but for the most part, they're okay. Yeah, Malphite just going. He's, he's getting tanky. He's getting really tanky. He's got the he's got the giant spell on him as well. It's just a matter of you know what other items could he possibly build from here. I mean, there's definitely oh blue. There you go. Where did uh where did that one go down? I uh, you know I have no idea. I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, I guess it must have been this mid turret. This is the yeah. only one that was available. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't really see. I thought the mid turret was already down. I thought it was too. I guess not. Yeah, and Orbit, you know, with that Baron advantage, they can just come up here and rush it. And Yuzuki is tanky enough that, you know, with the help of his team, he should be able to tank that turret for a while and allow them to just wear down that uh, wear down that base turret. So now Orb, with the uh, with the Baron buff, they're looking to push. Look at those crits. Those crits coming in from Graves can hurt so much. And there you go. There's muscling on in. That tornado is taking out a lot of Banshee's veils though. But uh, the turret will still go down. There is Rise getting the prism down on the Janet and the Malphite ult getting everything on that one. Unstoppable. Will you die before the ult is done? He's sacrificing himself for the better of the team. Spear not getting anything. The barrel still going to hurt, though. Yuzuki needs to get out of there real quick. This inhibitor should actually go down. Oh. Dodging the spears. 
Yeah, so they are able to get it, the though. inhibitor, and that's the big thing. They're oh. able to pressure out TSM Evo, and because TSM Evo, they didn't, you know, try and make anything happen really with that poke. They weren't, you know, harassing down Orb. Uh, Orb was able to just rush it, and that's, you know, what I was kind of talking about. They just needed to rush up, take it. You know, they did it. They got pretty low doing it, but they were able to force a fight, and TSM Evo really quickly lost that fight. Those so. crits coming in yeah. from Graves are ridiculous. That yeah, is Graves crazy. is insanely strong right now. I mean, all of them are insanely strong, and that's why <laughs> they can take the turrets extremely quickly. Now, with that mid-turret down, it allows them to transition into another lane, and it, it makes it more difficult for TSM EVO to stall. So, you know, Orbit, uh, now they can be, you know, a little bit more aggressive with some of their play. Um, they can still, you know, tank those turrets very easily with Malphite, and then just, you know, force fights again and again against TSM EVO. Another dragon being picked up here for Orbit, the gold lead extends even further we have about seven and a half thousand gold here in the lead for orbit they still have the baron buff they still have it for a good minute minute and a half still so they can grab a they could try and grab another objective if they can bot lane is looking pretty tasty everyone maneuvering on down looking to clear the creep wave they should be pushing that pretty soon yeah, and Nidalee is actually split pushing top, trying oh, to get momentum on the lanes. This and is the opportunity that, here. Yeah, it, it does open up an opportunity. The big thing is that by split pushing in this defensive nature, it slows down Orb's push because they know they go. can't Yuzuki fight him at this going point. going right out in front. He's looking to tank this thing. Really hardcore shield coming in from Lou to try and protect him. And yet, Nidalee is not here. Done. They, Done. It's just, they, they know that they can't defend against it. They just don't have enough damage to wear them down fast enough. So another inhibitor going down nice. with almost no defense. Some spears will be coming out, but it's really inconsequential at this point. They're so tanky. The shields work out so well. Having that Baron buff is, is all, oftentimes, you know, GG against the poke team. And now they can transition right into the top lane and do the exact same thing. And TSM Evo everywhere. can't do anything about it. Wards everywhere. Get all of the vision. Provide it all. Get the creep wave up there and taking that turret. There is the barrel, though. Heil 9 being caught out real quick, but nice. Lulu ult, keeping him safe. Zonia's hourglass being triggered by Salsa, but he should actually go down pretty oh, quick. Unstoppable with the ult. Wings of Death trying to get out of there, but right now it looks like Orbit is going to go ahead and take this one straight out. Nyat goes down as well. Wings of Death is down, and I think this is about it. Orbit there going through, taking those Nexus turrets and they should be able to dig this one pretty convincingly from this point on. Yeah, this is over. This is uh, TSM Evo. You know, it was a nice showing at times. Um, they really they needed to you know push down the mid lane. They were just kind of concerned that Orbit, uh, you know, would be able to engage on them. They were always kind of scared of that. But as a result, they weren't able to wear them down <laughs> at all. Nian yeah. gets the kill on Naframu, trying to get the kill on wow. uh, Nudu as well. But 2-0 Orbit over TSM. Incredible. And, you know, I enjoyed the spears and everything. It was it was very uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. But uh, TSM Evo, they needed to kind of press it a little bit more when they had that kind of uh, potential to make that happen. Incredible. Actually, go back. Uh, scores. <laughs> Got to see the so, scoreboard. Yeah, that, that is twenty k, twenty k on yen. That is yeah insane. No, Five hundred and forty four. He was decently farmed. Five hundred and forty. Yeah. He's rich. <laughs> He's rich. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's very strong. It's just, it's wow. it's tough to deal with. And, you know, Ezreal himself, he was very farmed. Everyone was pretty farmed. It, was, it got to an extremely uh, late point in the game. But it was just, it was too difficult for uh, TSM to deal with them. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's there a, it is. as it turns out, Banshee's Veils work pretty good against poke teams. Yeah. Yeah. This is, you know, all three of them up in front, Rise, Malphite, and Graves immediately up in front. It's like, hey, we got shields do something about it. But granted, though, then when they were going in for the uh, the Tier 3 in mid, as you know, Nat did actually have something to say about that. The Tornado just, just zo perfectly placed, zoomed in, cleared two of the three shields, yeah. and it was the perfect time for Gregus to come in with the ult, very well-timed, but unfortunately by that point of the game, it just wasn't enough. Yeah, so... Uh Unfortunately, TSM Evo not able to make it happen. I wanted to yep. see that win, you know, go to game three. Um, it's always cool to see a poke win. But, uh, yeah, so or you know, really nice play. They were able to sit back and just farm up until they knew they were unstoppable. And, yep. you know, having all those shields and the Malphite uh, definitely worked out well for them. And so, yeah, they, uh, they take home the prize, 2-0. Still good, still entertaining, wonderful match. And we will have one more show match for you tomorrow night. We have the uh, finish. Uh, we're gonna finish up the Taiwan qualifiers tomorrow morning with grand finals. Be sure to tune in for that. And you know, and as always, the usual info. Check up with everything we're doing here at the IGN Pro League at IGN Pro League on Facebook and Twitter. I believe our RP card contest is still going on. Check that out. Absolutely, please do. IPL LOL here on Twitch and on YouTube. 
do watch Top 5 Flops, new episode. So choice. So very nice. As always, your replays, IPLL, IPL, LL replays at GML.com. A lot, you know, we, we, need a, we need a little bit of help watching all these players' streams. So if you see any funny moments, any you know, top plays, flops, anything, you know, let us know. Let us know. Yeah, definitely. So uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. We'll throw up a rebroadcast and everything shortly. But right now, we're going to commercial break. Thanks, guys. It was awesome. See you tomorrow.